While recent explosive reactive armor shows a great protection against APS SDS and tandem warheads, its effectiveness against old AP rams was not tested. We can see that the high hardness plates of the relic reduce the impact velocity before even the detonation of the explosive element and worked as spaced armor. The 85mm gun used on the T-34 85ths was very similar to the Soviet 85mm AA gun, which was tested by the Soviets against the Tiger. This testing showed that the 85mm could penetrate the Tiger's front at 1,000 meters. The 4S-23 explosive elements distorts the angle and velocity of impact, which makes the 102mm armor job much easier. It is worth mentioning that some of my videos are targeted with limited ads. Any support through Super Thanks is appreciated. The Soviets first started researching reactive armor in 1949, but a miscalculation resulted in all the test subjects being blown up and further research was cancelled. The impact of such reactive armor on 122mm and higher AP rounds may be less but not negligible leaving the fact that the introduction of explosive reactive armor in World War II would have significant impact on the battlefield. These experiments took more than 140 hours. 